listen, I got my book is going to be ready to come out. You want to subscribe to my newsletter. So what I did in this video was I put a link for a free download of 10, my Steph's 10 Groovy Do's to get you in the groove. And it's 10 things you can do right now to start to feel better. And when you, when you get that download, you are signing up for my newsletter because there's going to be a big announcement along with the announcement of my book. And you will be able to get first grabs at the book. So you want to... Um, you want to definitely sign up for my newsletter. There's lots of good stories and tips and they come out sort of at the end of the week and um, it's just easy peasy stuff to get new uh, free tips and new uh, services and big new announcements from me, Just Steph. So I'm gonna pull a grace card for you at the end and, um, and so I'm gonna do that and so what, but first, I want to, I have a little lesson from Fenway. And I know you're all thinking Fenway Park, but it's Fenway went my dog. So we brought Fenway up from Atlanta and because she was with me and then when I moved back up here, she went with my kids and their dad. And so we, we brought her up because my kids are here. And my floors are all, they're, they look like hardwood but they're vinyl. And she's having a hard time getting a grip because it's she's sliding. So yesterday, when we got here yesterday, I was trying to get the dog to go to move from the door into my hallway. Like to it's a condo, so go from the door all the way to the living room area where I had a blanket out where she could walk around and her little crate with water, the couch, like a really fun area, the area that she wants to hang in, right? So the dog was at the door, and so I put little pieces of cheese all the way, you know, like Hansel and Gretel, find your way to the fun area, to where it's easy for you to walk. And she took the first one, and then she walked back to the door. Now mind you, she's on the vinyl. So I said, Fenway, come on, come, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And she, she wouldn't come. So then I put her up to the second piece of cheese. She ate the cheese and went back to the door. She was actually walking on the vinyl, but she was going back to the door. And then I moved her a little bit further. She ate the cheese. Maybe she didn't even eat it. I don't even think she ate the cheese. She didn't even care at that point. And she walked back to the door. She was halfway to where it was fun and free for her and easy. And she went all the way back. She walked, I mean, and she walked like she can do it. And I'm going, are you kidding me? So I moved her even closer, like three quarters of the way, and she ate some of the cheese and then she finally got on the blanket. And I thought, this is what people do in their lives. They make progress and they backslide. They go right back to where it's safe, where they think it's safe, instead of moving towards where it's fun and easy by taking those little nibbles, little nuggets of nourishment along the way, learning and growing, putting out the little pieces of cheese for you to nibble on along the way, little bit of growing, little bit of growing, little bit of learning, and then you're free. Free to roam, free to enjoy the little area. You can jump up on the couch and you can go into your little, on your little bed and your crate and there's your water and you know, your food and all of that. But no, she kept going back to the door. Back, why? Because she was afraid. She was afraid she wasn't gonna make it. She was afraid she was gonna fall. Don't we do that? Don't we do that, right? We move forward and we go, oh, no, 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 this is too hard. This is too hard, I'm afraid. I'm gonna fall, I'm not gonna make it, I'm gonna fail. I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to the comfort zone. I'm gonna go back to where it was easy, but really, where the beginning, that's where it's harder. It's much harder. It's much harder 
because everything is weighing on you. Instead of going and taking the nuggets and, and going closer and closer and closer and growing and getting stronger and becoming the person we are meant to be, the best version of ourselves, instead of becoming the butterfly, we go back to the cocoon. Sad, right? People do that. See how smart my dog is? And you know what I did though? Now we're all sitting around my kitchen island and she's eating. And we're all eating. And she's, she wants to be over by us. She has to walk around. Nobody's doing it. Now there's a big blanket area. So she starts to venture out a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. She's starting to realize, I can do this. I can do this. I can go and I want to go be with my brothers that are in the room. And she's starting. She's not quite there yet where she's really roaming the house, but she's getting there. So I want you all to take the nuggets that are given to you. Take the nuggets of wisdom that are given to you, whether it's me, somebody else, the reading list that I'm going to give you for your summer reading. Whatever it is, if there's another uh, inspirational person for you, then whatever it is, take those nuggets and move forward. Don't go back. Don't go back. So we have big announcements coming. I hope you get that, that analogy. I thought it was great. I was watching her. I'm going, hmm, this is a good Facebook Live. My dog is doing what we all do, which is going back at me and scared. Back to the cocoon. So I have my book is coming out soon. You want to get on my, my newsletter uh, list. You want to get on the, my e email list and the link is in the description of this video you can also if you want to pre-order my book right now and it's uh i will send you a signed copy as soon as i get them but i don't have a date yet that's um coming and then I, but there will be a big announcement with the date coming out in my my emails and also a big announcement for just steph and what i have to give to you so um you want to you know get involved click those links and uh, get uh, more of Just Steph. And I know that you're gonna take those nuggets and grow and not go back to the cocoon. You're gonna be that beautiful butterfly. So I'm gonna pull a grace card for you. Valor. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. Be courageous. The unmistakable touch of grace will follow us wherever we go. I can't make this stuff up, people. I just pulled it out of the middle of the deck. I, I shuffled these up. I pulled my own card this morning, and then I pulled this one out just now. Be courageous. And really, you're just going to where you are your best person anyway, where it's easier. I'm telling you, life is easier on the other side. It really is. What you're doing now is harder. And what you think the work that you're going to put in is going to kill you, it's not. It's just going to make you stronger, right? Like the song goes. But in the end, life is easier. Be courageous. The unmistakable touch of grace will follow us wherever we go. I love this stuff, right? I love when you, this stuff happens. It happens all the time. So that's what I have for you today. Stay tuned. I've got more coming up in the next few days of Facebook Lives. I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't dummy down, okay? And how not to dummy, dummy down and what is the signs of dummying down. And more about my book and my big announcement coming soon. So I hope you have a fabulous Wednesday. Take a risk. Be vulnerable. Share your heart in love always. Know I love you all. Wishing you love, balance, and peace. Click those links. Ciao, ciao, baby. Love you.